Jesus! Do it! Live your life so good that you don't even understand. Praise Jesus. Life update. They're still here! Wait, so did I is also here. Where are we going? Sushi. Sushi! So guys, we're in the car. The dog was ugly as shit. Um, we walked into an elevator, right? And there was hella people in the elevator for some reason. There was one man in particular. He was a tall, older white man. And he had a small dog, which I had not looked at the dog yet. But the moment we walked in, Duchess was baby talking to the dog. And was like, oh my gosh, so cute, beautiful eyes. You look like a vampire. <laughs> one, when we walked into the elevator, we felt 100% judged. Yeah, okay. So I feel cold energy in that elevator. Okay. Like, I feel like they were Jealousy. talking prior. And as soon as the elevator, they yes. like four black people. This this thing. <laughs> we don't talk anymore. We don't do that. Like, Duchess was talking to this dog like it's the cutest thing in the world. Imagine, I turn around and that's the ugliest dog I've ever seen. <laughs> I typically say all dogs are cute in their own way, but with him, the dog was just shit up. Ugly. That dog was ugly. Oh my god. No discrimination to dogs. Anyways, up to sushi. And we're gonna play games. This is We're Not Really Strangers. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna play that when we get to the dinner Wait, table. Wait, what did you do with this game? Basically, I thought this was gonna be a fun game, but I don't think it's fun. I think it's like a game where you get deep with people and I love deep talks. Oh, this is our first yeah. time here, but the vibe is giving classy. Fit check. Fit check. The Crocs. Yes. Fit check. What the fuck you mean? Well, I'll say anything to you. Yeah. Don't touch me fucking bitch. <laughs> fit check. Oh, me? That's, that's, you know, you, you're fit check. Louis. LB oh, no, 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 no. What is there to that check? Rude. She got nothing on. Y'all ain't got no clothes on. This ain't no check. Oh my god, this is big. Courtney, this is fancy and thick. Courtney, you're so beautiful. I love your hair. Can you hear me? Courtney. Taste test on the tuna tartar tart. Yamaroni. They did that big one with this one. It's sizzling. Times again, I'ma bring my phone. Perfect, you can't do wrong. She's posting her Instagram photos right now. Y'all better go like at Courtney. Instagram photo versus reality. Wow, you look the same. Barely. If you're not following me on Instagram, go and do it now. Let me taste it. Perfect. You got a bet for it. You know what you mean? Why did you actually look like you were gonna go? Thank you. Wow, that was a good little dinner. I'm so glad I came. It's almost gonna go out. I'm lactose intolerant, and somehow I still find a way to eat dairy. So this is gonna be the brown butter chocolate cookie. 380 calories. <laughs> We're not eating that. New day, new sleigh. The last time I vlogged was for Galentine's and that was a while ago. It is February 25th, Saturday, and I usually like to start my vlogs a little bit earlier in the week, but I've just been so lazy this week that I've been like trying to get out of that rut. So here you see me in my gym fit. I'm actually going to Pilates today for the first time. My friend invited me and I've never done this before. And I've always wanted to do Pilates, but I just knew I was not gonna be the one that's booking that reservation, okay? Once the opportunity presented itself, I said, hello. I'm coming. I'm just very nervous because I heard that Pilates is very, very intense. I don't know, <laughs> you know There's limitations to this body, okay? I just know for a fact my abs are gonna be so sore because I heard that they focus a lot on the midsection. So that's gonna be fun. That's my day for today. And I just love when I have like a packed schedule. I don't know how to explain it. It just makes me feel good. I know I should not base my worth on productivity, but I do. It might be the Virgo in me. This is the fit. And Duchess is here. Hi guys. Um, she doesn't wanna. I never said that. Oh, okay. Come on in. <laughs> that is crazy. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> she went out like that the other day and still got hit on. <laughs> that is crazy. Men are scary. Men are very scary. Uh, see you later. Uh, Jack and is right there. Ah! Oh, oh my God. <laughs> We haven't had breakfast today, guys, so don't think this is the norm. Can I get the ultimate breakfast and remove the cheese? Ah! Oh, perfect.
perfect. They have so many things on their menu, mm -hmm. and they're able to make everything super fast. That's suspicious. Mm -hmm. Mm. I remember Damn. one time when I was in college, I went on a date with this guy, and ill. I was so like nervous about ordering dessert. Oh yeah, because uh -huh. I ordered like steak. I ordered all this stuff, and I was like, oh my god, I kind of want dessert. <laughs> I didn't want to like ask. I don't know. He didn't say anything about wanting dessert. So I was like, I don't want to be the person to ask. So you never got it? I didn't get the dessert. And Doris always reminds me of it. <laughs> She's like, I can't believe you went on that date and you didn't get dessert. Because <laughs> bitch, if you want it, why the f not? What were you scared about? It was a like a nicer restaurant. And like we're in college. I wasn't like sure. Like, okay. Who was the guy? This guy that I told you was low key, like abusive. Not to trauma dump. <laughs> So I didn't make it to Pilates. Ah, Y'all, I'm so annoyed. Dropped Duchess off and honestly, after dropping Duchess off, I was late coming here. There was no parking. I was going to do Pilates in Solid Core, right? And at Solid Core, they have a rule where you have to be here 10 minutes early. And I think if you're new, you have to be here 15 minutes early to be equipped with the equipment. Uh, once I was able to finally park, I get to the door at 12. 12 is the time that it starts. Either way, I still take the risk. I get to the door. Why is there a keypad? It's locked. And so they're like, oh, you have to download the app to get the code. What? So I go on the app. I see the code finally. I'm typing it in. It's not unlocking. But eventually I just walk back to my car and here I am trying to figure out what is going on. Hey guys, it's a new day, a new sleigh. It is February 28th, the last day of February and I'm here with my girl Dora Dora. Handling business. She's handling business. We're going to Austin and I'm going for a really, really special thing. I'm gonna be filming something amazing. Y'all will see in the future. Our flight is in two hours and I think it takes an hour to get there. Right now I'm taking a COVID test. My nose is congested and there's just a lot happening. I'm supposed to leave it for 30 minutes, but it hasn't told me my results yet. It's only been 10. Hoping I'm COVID negative. I'm, I'm COVID negative. What am I talking about? Doris's bag is all packed up and ready to go. Also guys, I got an air tag. This is my first time trying traveling since Nigeria. I got a pack of four for $100 on Amazon. I am not missing a luggage ever again. Ever! I didn't know it looked like this. Like it's so small. Even though we're just going to Austin, which is literally just a 55 minute flight, we can't take the risk anymore. I lost too much clothes. We got this. This is tried and true. I really like it um, because it's very spacious and it actually is from Herschel. Yay! I just actually want to try getting a whole new travel system, as in new luggages, new uh, duffel bags, because realistically, it's an investment. Having a really good luggage is really important. I really want to try Shay Mitchell's brand because I just absolutely love it. Her luggage that she sells literally tells you how heavy it is. Like, if your luggage is more than 50 pounds, it'll alert you, and that's such an important feature to have because there's been too many times when I go to the airport and my luggage is overweight, and I just hate having to deal with that. They're just super pricey. Like, I think one luggage and it's gonna be like the big check-in luggages, it's like $300. <laughs> That's like a lot for a luggage. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm cheap, but it's just crazy. Um, and I told my mom about it, she was like, stop being cheap. It really hurt to hear that, but she's also like, you travel all the time, like why are you not investing in a luggage or in things that are important? If you did travel a lot, it would make sense, but like, I travel a lot, so. And then also I'm so irritated because I did not get my nails done. First world problems, y'all. If I'm gonna be on camera, the nails need to look cute. Also, they're trying to do my hair and makeup on set. <laughs> I'ma pass on that one, shawty. I don't know who's gonna try and touch my hair, but that's one thing you're not gonna do, okay? I remember one time I was on set for something and I was very much humbled because they told me your lashes are just too big. I said, girl, what are you talking about? Like, my lashes look perfect size. To them, it looked ginormous. And so I had to take it off and replace it with little itty bitty lashes and I was so irritated. Yeah, I'm just scared of having my makeup done on set. I definitely need to invest in some smaller lashes though because my lashes are a lot sometimes. But when it comes to the hair, I can handle baby. This is the fit, and then this is my luggage, and we're ready to go. Oh! What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop, please. Help. Do it! You're so scared. Okay, you're still going. You're still going. <sighs> Y'all, I promise she's not like this on the normal. I think she's just excited to travel with me, honestly. <laughs> Also, she left notes on my desk. E boo boo. Live your life so good that you don't even understand. Praise Jesus. Anyways, let's see if I'm positive for COVID. She is COVID negative. It's lit, it's lit, it's lit. Also, this filter is going viral on TikTok. We look good. No, I look like a man. 
in a way. I don't like this filter. Hey guys. Expectation versus reality. Don't show my lace. You're like not in the. I think we look better in We're person. We're bearing child, so this is our maternity shoot. Show the camera. Can you answer why Doris is camera. this close to me? All this room and she's right next to me. Move. See, I have this impact on people. The Uber's here. Let's go. You stuck? <laughs> that she pointed that out. <laughs> it was taking a while to get to the scene. <laughs> On the way to the airport, woo! You're allowed to speed if you want to. Feels something like this in my life. <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely staying longer than a day because our original plan was staying till tomorrow, but I'm not I'm not leaving tomorrow. Look at our hotel. Hey, let's see the room. That's a long walk. Don't walk through here while drunk. <laughs> That's one thing for sure. Guys, we're lost. Okay. No, Oh, um, so we lost. We don't know where the room is. <laughs> Jesus. This is sad. Okay. Ooh. Yes. Austin. Okay, so this is Fairmont Austin. Once you walk in, there's a sliding door that takes you into the restroom. Hey. Whoa, the shower is really pretty actually. And then we see this main area. The lighting is amazing. I'm a fan. And then you have the restroom here. Nice. I love when the restroom is separated from this area. And then we have this closet. Yes, I'm wearing this robe tonight or tomorrow. And then we have the bed. And then we have this beautiful lady that's hiding behind the curtain sheets. Reveal yourself. Hey guys, it's Beyonce. <sighs> yes, Beyonce. <laughs> We're on the way to the shoe. And I'm sick. See you when we get there. I'm really in a set. This is so cool. This is my first time ever being in a set before. I'm excited. I'm excited. I've already seen like YouTubers and like streamers that I know about. Okay, this is the brief. This is so fun. So I cannot tell y'all what it is that I'm here for, but it will be airing in June. Oh, I thought that's because you didn't know. Oh no. Um, it will be airing. Oh yes, yes. Y'all, the set life is different. You tell them I want some Chick Fil A. What do they do? <laughs> Ordering some. I just feel like a princess. I can't lie. <laughs> I'm still very sick. Literally when we were touring, I felt like I was gonna faint. But I know how to put on a show. Oh my god, this is like the life I wanted when I wanted to be an actress. The movie is ready in five. Okay, five minutes, okay. Off to set. Okay guys, it's a new day. <coughs> and I'm still kind of sick. Okay, so I did not vlog the last two days. It is March 3rd. <sighs> 10 20 a.m. Basically, let me give you a recap of everything that happened. So, me and Doris got back to Houston on Wednesday night, and I was just so extremely drained. I even like am shocked that I went to that shoot because I was so exhausted, it makes no sense. But I was able to fight through it. Don't have COVID, thank God. Yesterday, I just was sleeping the whole entire day. I just stayed in bed. But today, I have a whole bunch of energy. I have to film a brand deal and ad. And it's actually overdue because I was supposed to film it before I even went to Austin. <laughs> and then I got sick and so it was technically supposed to be due yesterday okay, so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to film this ad today and then edit it send it over for approval before my meeting that's in an hour <laughs> like why do we do this to myself <laughs> and also this is Sun Bum's roll on sunscreen. I don't know why I'm putting this on. I haven't even put on my main sunscreen of the day. So this is my sunscreen routine. Sorry, I'm all over the place. This is my sunscreen routine. So basically, this is what I always put on in the morning to start my day. It's essential. And then throughout the day, if I'm not wearing makeup, I'll just apply this roll on. 
and yeah so that's usually what i do so i don't know why i applied that because i haven't even applied my regular sunscreen for the day but a lot of the times when i do brands i don't like to wear branded clothes in my videos because i already know like they're not gonna like that and i'm gonna have to refilm so i always just wear like black or something like very basic but most of the time it's always black because it's just easy. Recap of the shoot though that I did in Austin. It was so fun. I met so many different creators. Wow, it was just so crazy to see creators that I genuinely watch in person. Like that was such a crazy experience. In June, that's when I'm gonna really start talking about it in depth, but the experience was really, really fun. Besides the fact that I was super sick, I was able to write it out and I feel like you could barely tell I was sick, to be honest. Also, if I sound a little bit weird, I have my Invisalign trays in. My plan for today is honestly to film this video Edit it, submit it, have a meeting. Does it look crazy? Yeah, it looks crazy. And then hopefully go to the nail shop. Ow! My eye is burning! I'm gonna finish up my makeup and I'll see y'all when I'm done. Time to film. Let me also show y'all my filming setup because I made sure to do all of that before I even started doing my makeup because I know how it can get. We're right here in the office. We got the green screen out. For this ad, I basically have to use like a green screen in one of the sections. So I just set that up because I don't want to have my makeup sweat off. And then I also have my camera and my lights already set up too in case I even need the lights. Oh, I look so good. Jesus. Wait, <laughs> like I knew the makeup was good, but not that good. Okay, shorty. I'll see y'all when I'm done with the ad. This should be quick and easy. And then I have my meeting at 11.45. See ya. Update, my meeting was canceled and it was rescheduled because they want to give me time to rest. <laughs> Another update, this brand deal isn't even due anymore. I think I have until Monday to submit it, but I'm gonna try to submit it today just so I don't have to think about it. But I'm so happy everything's working out perfectly. Look at my setup right now. It's giving very professional. Like what? Look at the green screen. Like let me finish the rest of this and hopefully I can edit this and then go to the nail shop. This is a good day. Just finished filming. Pow, 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 pow. That was easy. The filming was very, very easy. I just hope it's gonna look good. If it's not, I will just refilm some parts, but the power of editing is very, very powerful. Okay, so we gonna make it work. Before we start editing though, I wanna take down all of this because if I don't, I won't. You know how it goes. 